Today, I'm going to be walking through how to UV unwrap all of your characters inside of Blender. Let's go. All right, so firstly, I want to quickly explain why we have to UV unwrap. So the whole point of UV unwrapping is just to take a 3D model and break it down so you can apply a texture to it. So if you go to your UV editing workflow at the top, this on the left side, is like if you add a image texture and a good example of how it all works is if you just go new and then you go over here and just change it from generator type to UV grid, okay? And then you get a, a, a image like this. And then this will help us because whatever happens on the left side will show up on the right side in our texture. So if I go material and I just, I have some materials on here for some reason. So go new, uh, I click on this little yellow dot and then go image texture and then open this little untitled one that we made. And if you see, if we change the name over here, so we just go uh, like texture, uh, you'll see your update on the right here. Uh, and we go Z on our keyboard and then material preview. You'll see whatever's happening on the left side will happen on the right side. So you can see like here, this head's actually kind of square and that's because the faces aren't, are actually done properly. Um, but like stuff like here, you'll see this is what this face actually looks like. So every face on the right side will have a, another representation on the left side, okay? To make unwrapping a whole character easier, uh, let's just start off with a cube. So I'm gonna go shift a cube uh, and I'm gonna click generate UVs off because by default it will be on. Uh, and let me show you how to unwrap something simple like this. Uh, and then we can go on to making a full character. The easiest way to add edges, which is basically how we like cut into the mesh and tell Blender like, so it's basically like if you think of papercraft, like where you take an image and you like join it all together to build a 3D model, we're doing the opposite. We've got to take a 3D model, cut it up so we can lay it flat. So the easiest way to add edges or cuts is just select stuff and then go Control E and then Mark Seam. So just select an edge, Control E, Mark Seam, and you'll see they turn red. And what this does is it adds a seam to it, which is also a cut. So if I select everything now and go U and then unwrap, you can see this is my model on the left side. And I can also just go add that same material. Uh, I think it's, is it just material 001? There we go, Z, Y, uh, material preview. You can see this is what our model looks like, which as you can see, looks pretty bad. Um, everything is pretty like messed up so usually the way that you do a cube is i think you take an edge like this um because basically there's no uh if you just cut in half like this basically you'll see it will help quite a bit you can see there so now we have this cube going off here because we've cut into it like this we've got that piece able to be stuck out um and then the easy way to complete the cube is control e mark seem like that and then if you go UV unwrap, you'll see now it's like that. That's just uh, the, the way that you unwrap cubes, but it will be slightly different when we do a full character. So let's hop in directly and start doing the character now. So let's go with the character and start using all the same principles. The easiest way to do it is I usually like starting, especially with limbs, I'll cut like this. So I kind of separate the limbs from the body. Uh, and then so same thing at the bottom and the top. So I'll kind of add edges like this. Um, and then the reason I do this is basically because you get a tube and then you can just take the side of a tube, cut it, and then it will unwrap flat. So let me show you an example with the leg. I'm gonna go take this top. So an easy way to select is just Alt and left click. So just Alt, or you can even just use hold control. Um, but yeah, so Alt left click, there we go. Got the whole edge, Control E, Mark Z. And you can see I've selected both the top and the bottom. And uh, then I'm gonna go select this top edge and then hold Control and select this bottom one. You can see I've got a straight line all the way down. Control E, Mark Z, and then you unwrap, okay? And now you can see, an easy way to select stuff by the way is with L, um, but you can see here, this is what the leg looks like. And you can see there's no like stretching on here uh, and it actually looks pretty good. So one way to her, like fix it as well is just also rotate it so kind of these cube lines are actually quite straight because uh, you don't want to have it like diagonal and stuff because then if you have depending on like, what your pixels are you can get some bugs that are quite ugly um, but yeah and if you didn't have a edge down the side like this let me just show you uh, you'll get a bug like this you'll see like it wouldn't end up well. You'd just have a thing going on the side. And if you also didn't complete it all the way, so if you went to like there, uh, and again, 
you'll see you get stuff like that. Let's do the exact same thing for the arm. I'm going to select the shoulder like this. Just hold left click, Control E, Mark Seam. Go to the wrist. Uh, there, Alt, Alt, select, Control E, Mark Seam, and then just select the top over here. And where I'm placing these is basically like where stuff is more likely to be hidden. So, if your character is only going to be seen from the front, then go add your edge like over here. Um, if it's a normal character, like the, the inside of the leg is less likely to be seen. Same thing for the inside of the arm. So um, it doesn't matter if you're going to paint your characters, but it's just basically a better thing to not put your seam of your character like right in front of the people. Um, so just kind of pick it so where it's like going to be most likely to be hidden. Like if you see here, we don't actually see these inside loops that much um, when we actually look at our character. So do your best to kind of hide them, uh, just pick them wisely basically. And you can see now, this is the leg. So uh, an easy way to also see what you're selecting is select this little triangle, these two way arrow thing. Uh, so if you select the leg, then you'll, uh, if you're in face view, you'll select parts of it. So just go L um, and then you can actually select just part of it there. And then same thing with the arm up here. Let's also straighten that one out. Um, cool, there. Okay, then stuff like that will be more tri tricky is stuff like the hands and feet. Well, I think the feet is pretty easy, but the hands is more difficult. So let's actually get the, the feet done quickly. Um, and also have a bug over here. So let me redo this foot, just you unwrap. Um, well, she just selects everything. Yeah, so, so I'm just gonna go add an edge loop down the sides like this. Um, usually I do that. So I basically, uh, you can either take the whole foot, but then you'll separate like the entire bottom of the foot like that, which sometimes you don't really wanna do. Um, what you can do though is like only take out part of it. So if you just clear seam on the back, then you'll see uh, if I take the whole foot, you unwrap uh, that it will, it'll kind of still be joined onto it. And that actually gets a pretty decent way there for the whole um, foot. And if you want to see an easy way to see if you have any bugs or like stretching with your UVs, is just at the top of the scroll until you get this little uh, icon over here with this drop down and go display stretch. Okay. And you can see here, if it's light blue like this, that's bad. Um, that's when it's actually stretching. And if I look here, you can actually see this is supposed to be a cube and this is stretched quite badly. Um, so easy way to fix this is like get these two edges and go control E mark seam. And basically the reason I'm picking these cause like it's kind of like an uh, a more harsh angle. So just getting this edge over here will help. So if I go, you unwrap and you can see here now you have this kind of thing over here. That's where we've done it and they're better. And if my topology was better, because I have this little end gun over here, this wouldn't be a problem. Uh, but you can also fix that slightly by doing that. Uh, you can see there, that does actually solve it a bit. Uh, and then you can also see there's some bugs around the back, but it'll be quite difficult to fix them uh, because we have uh, this foot joined. So it might actually be easier if we uh, get rid of the foot. And the reason we do that is so we can select this edge and then walk seam. Very similar to what we did before is now because like if you have kind of like a loop going around, then just cutting it might help it lay out flat. Um, so you can see now this is what our foot looks like and it is laid out quite flat along the back part, uh, which is pretty good. Cool. Okay, so you can see like by default this hand, so let's go select it and focus on it. Um, you can see his hand is very stretched. So we're gonna have to do quite a bit of work to get it to actually work properly. So it's basically because we have this whole thumb coming out and all of that. So let's just go select this edge down the side, just just get something done and see how much it affects it. So we select this, you unwrap. Uh, and an easy way of getting stuff just, so you can only work with that, just go shift H and it hides everything else. Cool. So there we go. That is pretty bad but let's just start selecting some edges and doing it. Sometimes you can also just select the thumb and get rid of it. Basically just like get them uh, off each other. Just cut them off. Uh, and then basically similar to a cube, I'm just gonna get a, a edge down the side, control E, box seam. 
see what that does that helps a bit and then sometimes you have to do like the top so just getting something done like this control e mark scene and you'll see that fixes the top part because the main problem is up here which is the tip of the thumb you can see like if we select this that's the, the tip so if we add these edges it'll basically just cut it off and separate these edges like this um, so if I select it all, you unwrap, you can see now these are actually laying quite flat. Um, it's a little bit of stretching, but it's also on the thumb, so it doesn't really matter that much. Okay, now we have to worry about the rest of it. And the main problem you can see is kind of like if we can separate this. So I'm just going to add these edges here, Control e Mark Seam, uh, there. And it looks like we can probably just separate these two. Why not? So we just have like the palm of the hand and then we can kind of just take edges like this. So you can see the main the main problems are these. So just select these three edges over here, control E, mark C, and that'll basically just help it lay flat. If you see here, yeah, you can see there. So there we've got like a pretty decent unwrap on the hand. So let's go Alt H, bring everything back and then you unwrap, get everything to the right size. Uh, yeah. Okay. So let's select the body and see what we can do here. So you can also shift H again if you want. And this is actually pretty decent. Um, sometimes it's nice just to separate the neck from it. Uh, you get here. And then you can do stuff like there, the shoulder, because this is quite bad over here. So you unwrap. Uh, that did not help as much. You might have to cut the whole back like that. Yeah, you can see that helps it quite a bit. Um, and then maybe even selecting this bottom part, separating that there. That helps quite a bit. And that's actually pretty decent, actually. You can't really see much, um, any bugs with it, if you see it, you know what I mean? There's no really stretching anywhere that you can really, cool, let's redo it. Uh, and we can do stuff like here. So if we separate, because this is the, the chin. So you see there, we can just separate that. And I will see that's actually a problem here because you see when I did that now these two faces are overlapping. Oh, uh, my camera died. Fun. Um, these two faces are actually overlapping, which is not good because basically we want um, we want to have them. If we paint it over here, it would also paint a bit on the, the neck below. Um, so what we want to do is actually get rid of that. Uh, and something we can probably do is the chin like this. So if we go unwrap, yeah, that's slightly better. It's not actually that necessary, but yeah, it's fine. Uh, and you can probably do something like that because those top bits over here aren't very flat. Um, yeah. And we're not going to be able to do much more other than we could even separate the whole head off like that, which would help it be more flat, but that's not actually that necessary. Uh, I'm going to leave it like that. If we bring everything back, you unwrap. Uh, let's just start fixing all the orientations and stuff. Uh, so I'm going to go face view and then just L. Uh, just rotate it like there. Uh, this one, rotate it like that. Uh, select the arm. So this is another part, so it's just trying to get everything lined up correctly, working, uh, stuff like that. So this is the palm. We can also stick these like in the corners. The bottom of the foot really doesn't matter. So you can actually scale it down if you want. Uh, that's the other thing is like you can also scale up parts that are more important. Uh, so like that's the the thumb and the hand. So you can probably scale this up slightly because uh, that's it's more important than stuff like the bottom of the foot. You can even scale up the arm slightly maybe. Um, or if you need a lot of detail in your face with the texture, you can just select your face and scale that up. Um, this is also quite useful with the grid because you can see like maybe you don't have much detail on your leg so scale that to this down take your arm scale this up um, maybe take the body scale that up as well that sort of stuff so um kind of figure out what's what's actually important to your uh, your texture and you, your painting um and then kind of choose what you're going to focus on uh yeah now you know how to uv unwrap your characters but next you need to learn how to actually make textures for them so click over here to learn how to make game ready textures inside of blender cool cheers